I, I, my kids are in their 50s now, so I picked up my first camera so I could start taking pictures of them. And um, I just, I've always admired God's creation. I love taking wildlife and birds and flowers and just all his beauty. And um, I've had a camera ever since. In fact, I've probably owned 50 cameras by now. <laughs> I don't have a professional camera. It's just a Canon Rebel. Um, that's a beginner's like, but, um, but God has blessed me with some good results and uh, I wouldn't give it up for anything. Mm. It, it'll be a passion and something that I do until I can no longer walk. <laughs> so how has your photography grown and changed over the years? Well, there's some people that I've been blessed to do their pictures for 20 years and they, call, they seem to call me every year and, and come back for, you know, like there's their one girl, for instance, was in 4-H. I did all of her 4-H pictures and then her senior pictures and then her uh, engagement pictures and then her maternity, well, her pregnant, her wedding pictures and then her maternity pictures. I just wanted to get that the order straight, <laughs> the order straight. Yeah. <laughs> and then she brought her baby up for newborn pictures. She came up here from Bullhead City, and um, they'll be back for Christmas. I just, I get so much joy out of having them want to come back. And God has blessed me so much all my life that it's like a, a present, a gift that I can give back to people. Mm -hmm. And I get joy. Some people don't understand why I don't charge people for pictures, but the money is nothing. And, but the blessing is something that stays with you forever. So when people have asked if they can pay you for your photography, what do you typically tell them? Well, if they go to Grace Church, I tell them that if they feel led to pay me, if they could just put it in the building fund at church. In our community, you have often volunteered for different organizations. Mm -hmm. uh, which ones are you currently a part of and what do you do with them? Well, one is uh, Horses with Hearts. And we take the minis, I'm with the mini program. We take the miniature horses to um, assistant living and, and share them with uh, the residents there. And they really get joy out of that. And the other one now is um, the Pregnancy Center, the Resource Center. Um, I do newborn babies when they're born. So tell me, how did you become a Christian? Well, I've, I've always been a Christian, I guess. <laughs> I was baptized at the age of 13, but then when I became a teenager, uh, it's like climbing a mountain. You know, you get closer and closer and closer, and then you backslide by sliding down and then you get back up and continue to grow and that's where I was at. I became a teenager and started um, dating and going to parties and like so many of us do and the Lord just picked me up and he's always held my hand and led me out of the gutter so many times even as an adult and when I thought I should know better but we do fall, and I love him so much because he never ever gave up on me. And so I was baptized again when I was probably 30. I met my husband, Joe. I was married 20, 21 years to my first husband and had four kids and divorced. And, and that was only because I didn't listen to God. We were so close as a family in church and walking with the Lord until we started living our lives for ourselves. And I felt like I could do better all by myself. I was um, selfish and felt like I knew better than my husband or God and walked away. And then, um, he picked me up again, and um, I started, I got closer and closer. I honestly believe that trials 
He puts us through these trials just to make us stronger. And I think going through these trials, what it does is gives you a heart for people hurting in the same situation and you know how to reach out to them and pick them up. When you're taking photographs during the service, it looks very natural, like for, with the baptisms, for example. What kind of uh, positive feedback have you gotten from any of the congregation members, if any? Oh, I have received some comments from some of them, and I just, I just feel so blessed to be able to do that. It's such, a, oh, it's such an amazing opportunity, you know, to see them being baptized is just so wonderful and I'm so glad to be a part of it. I try to stay out of people's way because it is a private moment, mm -hmm. but it's, I still like capturing those moments because they're so special.